Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I went out toy hunting at Target, which is like my go-to place to find Jurassic World toys. And I bought this, the Jurassic World Attack Pack Musaurus. Might notice something a bit familiar about it. It was, it's just a repainted model of the other one, the Dino Rivals one, I'm pretty sure. This thing better not. Okay, good. This thing didn't come with any Cape Cretaceous stickers. Those things are just piling up around my room. But yeah, let's get it out and see what it's like. Anyway. Take a look at the box. This thing came apart a little bit. So there's Mesaurus, Jurassic World, Mattel, three plots on the back. It's got all the other ones you can get. The Purple Raptor, the... Demorphodon, which I've been trying to find for ages, but I haven't been able to. And the Alioramus. So, let's take a look at the figure. Okay, well, right off the bat, it has the same feature that the Attack Pack Ornitholestes has. You can move the head up and down like that, and... <laughs> oh my goodness, what the heck. Um... <laughs> There's a there's a new meme for you guys. <laughs> it's got like chipmunk cheeks. Like it looks like he ate too much plants or something. First off, I'm gonna start with the color scheme, which, eh. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. I don't really know why. What am I just trying to say here? I don't know if yellow is a good color for these things like one of the raptors i know was painted yellow and it looked absolutely terrible but yeah yellow just doesn't yellow is kind of a hit or miss color with these things like with the cryolophosaurus and the parasaurolophus back there it looks good because well that's kind of how they're supposed to look but on other dinosaurs where they're not supposed to look yellow it just looks odd um, on the bottom of the feet, there's the scanner for the Jurassic World Mattel fax app. Here, oh, this is a bit weird. The Jurassic World logo on the bottom of the foot feels a bit flat, as if it got messed up while it was being imprinted into the foot. Not sure what happened there. Um, also, fun fact. This isn't the first time that Musaurus has appeared in the franchise of Jurassic World or Jurassic Park. Because if for fans of the Lost World novel will instantly recognize this thing because it was in the Lost World novel in the scene right before Richard Levine's guide Diego dies by the Carnotaurus. They find one, it's tiny, and that's because back then it was one of the smallest dinosaurs ever because they only found juvenile bones. Like, it was no bigger than this actual figure. I'm not even kidding. Yeah, it was just... It was tiny. But now it grows about 10 feet long. And I want to compare it to some of Mattel's figures. I guess that seems about right. What am I saying? Jurassic Park has never been known for ac scientific accuracy. wonder if... Oh, dang it. I was hoping they wouldn't put this in the weird tail articulation that just makes the tail swirl all around. I don't really see the point of that. Because, well, why would you do that? Why not just... You know, instead of doing that Mattel, doing this Mattel, you could just put more attention into painting the claws. Actually, yes, painting the claws on some of the other attack back figures, like the Proceratosaurus and the Rarosaurus. At least those are the ones I've got. Um, the mold itself isn't too bad. It looks pretty good. There's quite a bit of detail in the skin. Also, I love the black stripes on this figure for some reason. They just look really cool. They're almost like zebra stripes or tiger stripes, that kind of thing. Um, now the head... Uh, <laughs> the head is probably gonna be the next meme because it just looks i mean just look at it it looks so cartoony almost 
It actually, I know it looks very cartoony and it's got the chipmunk cheeks. <laughs> the eyes. Eh. The eyes on this figure aren't painted very well. Also, there's a bit in the neck right there where the paint is, well, the plastic is chipped a little bit. I don't think it, that was my fault. Also, I noticed that Target stopped selling these almost immediately after I bought it. What I'm trying, what I'm trying to say is that there was almost nothing there, like no new Mattel figures at all. Only ones I found were this, the weird, ugly purple Velociraptor. Well, I don't really want to call it ugly, but yeah, it just doesn't look that good in my opinion. Uh, more of those Isla Nublar escape sets with Hammond and Sattler. Um, and a bunch of the giant Super Colossal Indominus toys, which I wanted to buy, but unfortunately I'm broke right now, so... Yeah, that's not gonna happen anytime soon. But yeah, I said... I don't know if you guys should buy this figure or not. It kind of depends on what you guys think. Should you guys get it or not? I mean, for articulation, it's pretty good, except for the tail, which I don't really see the point of. Like, why would you want to twist it around a bunch? Okay. So the head isn't actually that stiff. I thought it was going to be really, really stiff, but it's not. So that's good. Anyway, buy this figure if you guys want. I don't really know what else to say about it. I think that's going to wrap it up for today's video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, hit the new bell icon, hit the bell icon so you never miss any new videos. Comment down below what you think. Also, my channel's popularity grew a little bit, so if you're one of the new subscribers watching this, uh, thank you very much, and I'll see you guys next time.